think about Wakaba on the anniversary of her death, but it's been a while since I visited. I've been so busy with the shop and all. No, no, that's not it. The guilt is what kept me from coming. I thought Wakaba would be angry with me. But now that I managed to get Futaba over here, I can finally meet her with my head held high. I sure kept her waiting, but it felt good to tell her about how much Futaba's improved lately. Oh, I told her about you, too. You say that like you're not responsible for all this. This is the first time the four of us are all together. So, Jiro, what are you smirking for? Uh, this is what my real smile looks like. I approve. Whew. Oh, I have some news. The family court gave me a call the other day. Futaba's uncle decided to retract his report. It was because of you, wasn't it? I wonder if the day will come that she goes out to be someone's bride. I'm sure she'll make a fine lady either way. After all, she is Wakaba's daughter. Do all fathers have to go through this anxiety? You know, I really just wanted to have you help out at the store. But you showed me so much more. You showed me I have a family I need to protect. Not just Futaba. But you, too. I may not always be reliable, but feel free to come to me if anything happens. I'll be there for you. As family. And, uh, uh, I know. I'll teach you everything I can. You're a full-fledged man now. That might not be enough to return the favor. But it's all I can do. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Hierophant, granting thee infinite power. Imagine you calling me father. Although, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. What are you two talking about? Nothing. I hunger. Curry time. Yeah, yeah.
Let's go home. Thank you.